back to our YouTube channel and you know I always ask my question of the day and my question for today is what is your current favorite acrylic color to work with right now and mine has been yellow I've been in love with yellow and I can't get enough of yellow so make sure you guys leave me your comment of what color you guys like because I am giving another giveaway today and can you live? Oh, that way, yes. How about two? Show them both. Oh, of them. yes. Surprise giveaway. And don't mind the little both of them. Show them. different sample charts that we have because it, this is our new warehouse and we're still in the process of reorganizing everything. So make sure you guys leave us a comment of your favorite color to work with and to enter this giveaway. What are we doing, babe? Like the video, leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click that bell and once you've done that just same thing like last time i click the bell and um winners will be chosen at random and you will get a surprise some uh, surprise not polish collection and for today's nails we'll be doing some white lv sugar effects with um no gold lvs with some white sugar effect nails super cute super classy and super not easy kind of easy all right guys check it out hi guys i already have the not polished universal tips on and we're gonna start out with clear today so you see as i tilt the finger downwards because you want the product to run towards the tip of the nail so i'm gonna hold it downward like that and then pat it into the cuticles first and while the uh the powder is still a little bit more runny i am gonna push it into place as you can see i'm just patting and pushing it into place now that it's set a little bit more that's when i will press and pull it towards the tip of the nail as you can see i am pulling it now towards the tip of the nails and remember when we're doing clear nails you want the powder to run a little bit more than usual because we don't want a bunch of air bubbles in our clear nails so now that's done i am gonna pat it into the into the shape there you go and then just pat it up like that and then this next color is called bear with me which is m24 from not polish also and as you can see i am just tapping it into the cuticle first and then now that is done we're gonna press and pull it down towards the tip of the nail all the way down to the tip and make sure while you guys are doing this that you are keeping the shape of the nails also and now that we're at the end i'm just gonna cut it off right there and then now I am going to press the rest of it into the tip. And then now we're done and dry. I'm going to go in with my 5-in-1 Super Cut today. Because the 5-in-1 cross bit is always sold out. So this is the same thing. Very similar bit. But it's actually a finer bit for you guys. If you guys like the finer bits, this is it. And the 5-in-1 cross bit is the medium bit. And then I'm just, as you, guys, as you guys know, I like to use my bit to taper in the shape of my nails first before I file the top of the nail to smooth everything out. And then again, now we're going to go in with the hand file and just shape it to whatever shape you want. Same goes to the, for this nail. I am going to taper in the side of the nails first and then I will go over the top of it to smooth it out because I don't want to hand file the shape later because that that is going to take a lot of my time and it, it's going to end up hurting my um, shoulder later on. So I like to use my um, drill machine to do most of the shaping for me actually. As you can see how the, how the shapes already looks pretty sh tapered already. And now we're just gonna go in and smooth out the top, and then again the not po the not polished hand file to shape, and then just buff. Make sure you buff everything nice and super smooth. All right, guys, this is the not polished. Um, we have these LV stickers available for sales on our website also, and um, 
you know just smooth out the nails and I'm just gonna place on my stickers and make sure you guys press it down to make sure that all the edges are laying down flat because if they're not flat when you put on the top coat it's gonna ruin the whole look and then you might have to take off the whole nail to fix it all right and now that everything's done we're gonna go in with the matte top coat and then make sure this is a clear nail so we put a clear top coat on the bottom of the nail also and you guys see i like to clean off the edges before i cure it so now the nail is cured i know in my picture i had the white but i just want to show off this gold right here and this is the gold art gel that's in the not polished timeless art gel and i know you guys asked me a lot about my um, brush my art brush and you know what this brush is not for sale individually by itself but it is free if you purchase the timeless art gel collection it will come with the art gel and I think they have it for sale for, on sale right now for $90 and now the gel is on before you cure it okay you sprinkle on the gold um, glitter raw glitter just sprinkle it on top of it and then cure it for 30 seconds and then now I'm gonna dust it off. So same goes for this nail. Just stick on these stickers. And then we're gonna go in with a matte top coat. And then I'm just gonna put on the matte top coat. And then of course on the bottom too. And then now just clean off the edges and go in with the white gel polish. And just draw your little designs or this little arch right here. And then I'm just gonna go around the rim of the nails. And just like the gold that we did earlier, what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle the raw glitter on top of this white gel. So I'm just going to paint on my white gel right now and then I will pour on my raw glitter and then cure it, okay? So you don't cure the gel before you sprinkle on the glitters, alright? I'm going to have to mention that again later just to make sure that you guys remember. Alright, now we're done with this right here. And then, now the gel is still wet, right? I am going to sprinkle on the raw glitter directly on top of that white gel and then cure it for 30 seconds and then dust it off. And this is how you do the sugar effect to it. And um, I am just going to go in. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this uh, way of me applying the gems on. And what I'm using right now is the Dippin' Base from Not Polish. It's a number two. And... This is what I like to use to hold on my smaller gems, all right? And if it's the bigger gems, I like to use a gel builder or a jewelry gel from Not Polish also. So this is just a dipping base, and I'm just going to apply my rhinestone on like that. And then I'm going to just add a tiny little gold piece at the end, and I'm going to go in with the smaller gems right there. And I will show you guys that sometime that if the gel base, I mean the dipping base takes a little bit long to dry, I go in with the activator. You see how I lightly tap in with the activator? And then now that it's done and dry, I'm gonna go in with the matte top coat and just go around the edges of the rhinestones. And for this now, we're gonna do a white gel again and make sure you make that one cross loop like that. You see how they cross each other like that and then I will go and make that little curve right there at the tip this is how I draw on my um, do French look right there so there you go and again now we're just gonna color it in with the white gel and then now the gel is still wet right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle glitter on it so I'm just gonna go in and make sure my lines are super straight. I'm just gonna go in and give it like one little final touch to it. And then we're gonna sprinkle on the raw glitter when the gel is still wet. Now it's on, we cure it for 30 seconds and now this is cure. I am gonna show you guys another way I apply my gem is I use a gel builder and then a non-cleansing top coat on top of the gel builder, that little piece right there, and then apply my gems on it. Or if you don't want to do the non-cleansing gel top coat, that's fine also. So just put the gel builder on and then just stick on your gems like what I'm doing right now. And then I'm just gonna, and anytime I use this little gold beads, I want to use the gel builders because the um, with the gel builder, I feel like these beads last a lot longer. It does not fall off. So I like to use a thicker gel builder working with these yellow, this gold little beads right there. 
And now that's done. We're gonna cure it for 30 seconds, okay? Or we're just gonna cure it, and after this is cured, I am gonna go in and apply the matte top coat around it. Make sure you don't get it on the gems, and if you do, just go over it with a little bit tiny of the shiny top coat to bring back the shine. All right, and then now, same goes for this one. I'm just gonna do the white gel around the cuticles, and then, um, again, just bring on the raw glitter like I did on the other nails. And I'm just gonna go around it. And um, I did ask you guys a while back what hand I should get for, I mean for now, for my next tutorial because uh, these fingers are looking a little crazy right now and I, I need new ones. <laughs> Alright, so now that is done, we're going to do the gel builder again and then apply on my little gems. And if you guys have any questions, just make sure you leave it in the comment for me because I do go through the comments and I really try my best to answer most of everybody's questions. So don't be shy if you have a question to ask me, all right? And again, I'm just going to go in with these beads. Yeah, because sometimes I go through the videos and there's something that I forget to mention. So just don't forget to call me out. I mean, <laughs> don't feel bad if you call me out on, you know, some other question that's you guys that you guys want me to answer. And then I am just going to straighten it out just a bit. And then we'll cure for 30 seconds. And after it's cured, we're going to go in with the matte top coat again. And just go around the nails. And make sure I don't get it on top of the nails. And this is the finished product. And you guys want to know how I record the nails with to make it super sparkly? It's stand in the sun and put a little oil on your lens. And what do you guys think about that video? If you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys leave us a thumbs up and like. I mean, thumbs same thing. Make sure you leave us, you like the video, uh, leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel. And do not forget to ring the bell. And once you ring the bell, make sure you leave the comment. I click the bell so you're entered into our giveaways. And good luck, guys. I'll see you guys next time.